Hey everybody, this is Andy Brown, I'm the head instructor at the Connor School of Real Estate. We are the best real estate school in Florida, located in Orlando. I'm about to do another broker real estate math state exam tutorial video for you, help you pass your state exam. This one happens to be number 14 on my broker, it's a free broker real estate math practice exam on our website, climberrealestateschool.com. So let's see what it says. Homeowner bought a home for $195,000 in 2010. Financed with a $156,000 mortgage. This year, the value of the home is $250,000, but the mortgage balance has dropped to $148,000. How much can the homeowner borrow on a home equity loan if the owner wants all the interest to be tax deductible? Okay, I put a couple of tricks in here to help you on the state exam. So first of all, when you're going for a home equity loan, it doesn't matter what you paid for it. It matters what it's worth now and what the value is. Banks are going to work off of how much equity is available. So it's the value at the moment by how much you owe at the moment. So let's see what that is. So the value in the problem is $250,000. Paid the mortgage down, they only owe $148,000. That's a difference of $102,000. All right, so here's your next trick. If an owner wants to f be able to deduct 100% of the interest on a home equity line, number one, can't be more than 100% combined loan to value. And number two, the home equity line cannot be more than $100,000. So this is not the right answer. The right answer for 100% deductibility would be $100,000. All right. I hope that helped you. I want to help you pass your state exam. Stay in touch. Let me know how you did. If you want some more help, think about coming to our one-day broker state exam sales review. It is the best broker review class in the state. Contact me in the school if you need anything. And by the way, good luck on the state exam and don't overthink it.